Get on. Oh, that was kind of, it started off kind of cute. It did, it did. Oh, I'm sitting on my hair. Jordan, can you please? Yeah, I know you're gonna do Okay, one, you gonna do the intro? Oh, Deja Janae XO? Yes. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Deja Janae XO. And I'm back with another video. So today, I have my line sister here. This is Jordan, and she's gonna be joining me today. Um, I said in my other video that I was gonna do a part two. This is the one I was talking about, by the way. She don't know what I said, but this is the one I was talking about. Um, so today we're going to do the part two. We're going to answer the last few questions that I had, um, that I didn't answer in the last video. So let me pull them up. <laughs> anyway. Okay. What was the last one I did? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go through and answer these last few questions. Um, I'm just going to ask the question and then whoever wants to answer, you know, just answers. So the first question that I have is what are some interview tips? And the tip that I have is to just be yourself. That's what I have to say. Um, just be yourself and practice beforehand. Um, my words model. Okay. Go! <laughs> my word of advice would be to mean what you say, say what you mean. So, you know, any question that's asked, just be confident in your answer. Um, next question is, how do you know what sorority is right for you? I would say do your research. Um, 100%. Yeah. Get to know the people on campus and do your research. Don't let other people influence your decisions. Yes, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Don't yeah. let nobody tell you that you look like you something. Mm -hmm. And you just know, go we, all, we all got our stereotypes yeah. or whatever. So. Yeah. Align your morals and your beliefs. That's a good one, actually. Okay, what Jill. What's it do? Jill said align your morals and beliefs with that organization. Um, next question is, when are you able to join a sorority when you meet the requirements? There's no time frame. Right. Yeah. If they haven't learned you got everything in order. Yeah. What are the requirements to pledge Delta? You can find those at Delta Sigma Theta dot org. Mm -hmm. Um next question is can you cross your freshman can you cross your freshman year? If you meet the requirements? Yes. Uh I think the main question, I think what they're trying to say is like, if you're a freshman coming in with no credits, can you join? In that case, I would say no. But like I said, you can visit the websites to find the requirements. But like, if you did like dual enrollment and you have credit hours already, then if you meet the rest of the requirements, then yeah. Um, can my community service be from multiple places? I mean, I feel like you should do community service everywhere. I mean, the specifics will be discussed when that time has come, but I say, just do community service where you can. Find that one place that you like really like. Don't just be jumping around just so you can say I volunteer here and there. But yeah. But I mean, if you have multiple places that you do volunteer at, that's cool too. Like, yeah. don't just be like, I'm gonna only volunteer here. Like, you know, if you got options, do that. Yeah. Um. Somebody said, "What does a lifetime commitment mean?" Um. Lifetime commitment means you're in it for a lifetime. You're committed for a lifetime. Lifetime commitment, committed for a lifetime. You ain't just in, then you out, you in, and you stuck. <laughs> Next question is, how much is it to join an organization? Um, I can't speak for other words, obviously, but um, for Delta, I would just say stack that money because, I mean, it's not nothing cheap. Yeah, but. and it's not even just that price where you have to pay when you actually get in, but also even afterwards, like, you want to have all the paraphernalia, you want to have, you want to go to conferences, you want to go to all these things, you got to have money for that. You got to pay dues every year. That goes into a lifetime commitment. That's, that's some money, so it ain't cheap, I'm going to just say that. It's also a financial commitment. Lifetime and financial commitment. A lifetime financial commitment. Last question is, what is research? 
getting to know the organization, um, knowing what they're about, what they do. Yeah. Not even nationally, but like your campus, your, mm -hmm. your campus chapter. Mm -hmm. If somebody were to tell me to do my research, I would think that means like, like she said, getting to know the people on campus, not just Delta or whatever org you're trying to join. Like, it's more than just going on their website and trying to learn, <clears throat> whoa, and trying to learn what's on their website, but you have to actually, like, know stuff outside of that. Like, your chap the chapter on your campus, what are they doing, how are they better in the community, what are they doing, who are, who are they? Like, you got to know who's on the yard, you're trying to join, but join why? I guess it's just, like, just getting background information on the organization, pretty much. Don't just join for the letters. 100%. <laughs> um anything else you would like to add um i would say if you're interested in doing anything not just delta obviously do your research like you just said don't be afraid mm -hmm. um get to know those people that are on campus like we keep saying um learn how to be uncomfortable mm -hmm. Um, my little piece of advice I would like to say is just don't be afraid. Um, the people in the organization were once in your shoes, so they know what it's like for somebody to come and approach, approach you about your organization and they're trying to join and all that. So just don't be afraid. Um, and stack your money. That's all I really have to say. I feel like I didn't answer the same questions in other videos, so... I don't have too much more extra. But yeah, that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below. If you enjoy seeing Jordan, you can follow her on Instagram. I'll put her Instagram in the description box. Um, or Jill. Even though y'all can't see her. <laughs> um, I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see y'all in my next video. So until then. And blessings. It's supposed to do I. Yeah, but I'm too far. But you gotta get it. <laughs>